and we are live here in the park and what they, they really made the park a lot nicer put on some shades grass is growing it's looking really nice and we're going to talk about being holy it's Pars Parshas Kadoshim. Kadoshim means holy but at least that's how it's translated what does holy mean so Kadoshim really means a, um, separated to be separated to put oneself apart and in this week this week's Parsha we are told to be holy because God is holy be Kadoshim because God is Kodesh but it's not just some people uh, Moses is commanded to bring to gather together all the Jews all of them and then he's they're instructed to be Kodesh Kadoshim um, so that means that well the Jewish religion Jewish nation is not like other religions some religions like Christianity you've got a priest he's expected to be holy um, and he's supposed to be separate he's supposed to you know with withhold from drinking wine and marital relations all these things that's what they define holy as that and then they say only he has to do it everybody else gets a free ride not in Judaism God himself says that you the entire Jewish people each and every one of you has to be holy each has to be separate so and then then we go on to define lots of laws the laws include um, what are called Arias or illicit relations not having relations with um, certain relatives, not having relations with married women, um, not having relations with people of the same gender, a whole bunch of different rules. Then we go to rules of business. We have already had some rules on how to, what food goes in your mouth. These are a lot of a lot of rules of how to be holy it's not to separate from everything it's to separate from things that God says you separate from and other things you have certain things you're allowed to do and certain things you're not allowed to do you have to be holy in your business relations uh, how you charge people how you uh, determine how much to charge you know having proper weights and measures um, if I'm billing on the clock which I, I mean I bill on the clock if you're billing on the clock also so you got to make sure your clock is accurate you turn your clock on and off at the right times and not to bill a client when you're not doing work for the client and that's how we are holy that's how we're separate we separate from these things that God says to separate from and then we become a holy nation and each one of us each one of us Jews is obligated to do that it's not just an optional thing that some rabbis can do. Each one of us is commanded to do it, and each one of us can do it. It's uh, something that's within our abilities. And we're going to leave it at that. And we've walked through a nice part of the park. we we'll just leave you with a, a nice view around of where we are. And on that note, I wish everyone a good Shabbos, Parshas, Kedoshim, and until next time. Bye. I can't stop it because I've got a message. Now I can stop it. Good.